constitutional matter, they will allow. Now, what if they... So he followed us campaign. Yeah, that would be fine. Now, yeah, that... the second one is, can you tell us the number of women current? Uh, it wasn't clear the number of sponsors. I had to mention Skida, and not care for women according to the constitution. Because Women has only 4.4% representation in the Ninth National Assembly. You may wish to know that Nigeria has been identified as the worst performer in women representation in Parliament. In the West African region, and one of the lowest in the whole Africa. This is evidenced in the most recent Interparliamentary Union at IPU ranking of women in parliaments where Nigeria ranks 179 out of 107, 187 countries worldwide. Enitra is the only African country ranked lower than Nigeria. And this is because there have not been national elections since its independence in 1993. The situation is worse. At the, state as, is at the state's houses of assembly level, where a good number of our states do not have a single woman in their state assembly. In some of these states, men chair the women affairs committee because there is no woman available to take that office. Currently, more than 130 countries have adopted some type of special measure or quota system to address women's underrepresentation. Over, over 75 percent of these cases were introduced in the last 20 years, particularly since two, year 2000. Strikingly, the majority of nations that have adopted special measures stroke, uh, quota system are low or middle-income countries, many of them in Africa. A very good example is South Africa, where the introduction of quotas in the 1994 election by the African National Congress, ANC party, resulted in 27% of women in their very first democratic election. Currently, South Africa has 46.5% women in the lower chamber and is one of the top 10 countries for women in parliament. Rwanda is the world leader in women's, women's political participation with 49% of women in their lower chamber. This followed from deliberate constitutional efforts taken to include women in government to foster rebuilding of the country post-genocide in 20, 2003. I would like to emphasize that women's inclusion in politics is not just women's right or women issue, but also an issue of reflecting our history and traditions in our governance process. And I truly believe that this bill has potential for improving women's political representation. Therefore, I urge all Nigerians all well-meaning citizens of this country and of course committed parliaments to support that this legislation comes to pass in our own time.